Hi everyone, this is the Best Family Outdoor Channel. Today we have a special episode for you. We're in Mexico and we're gonna review this resort. It is awesome. What is the resort called again? Rio Alesco. Alesco, yeah, and it's awesome, yeah. We'll tell you all the pros and cons and um, just all the things you can do with kids, all the excursions you can go to, the hotel, everything, okay? so. Stick around, watch the video. If you like it, subscribe, and we'll see you for other episodes. Let's start from the beginning where we get off the air conditioning bus that picked us up from the airport. We bought this vacation package off a Sunwing website. It cost us 5,310 Canadian dollars for this family vacation. This included cancellation worry-free policy that we bought for $50 each person. As you can see here, we go to the elevator after we checked in. The check-in process went pretty smooth. I made sure I got in front of the line or in the line as soon as possible. Flies come out. I feel sorry for 4167 because our, our family's loud. This room was right above the lobby and just steps away from the stairs and elevator. Whoa, look at that. I got something on this one. We have a balcony. Sure I got something on this one, mommy. This is a family room for a family of five. I don't know if you can see it really well here, but look at the washroom. There is a shower, sink, and then you have a separate small room that has a toilet where you can close the door. However, changing was quite difficult as well as showering. The boys had to go in the balcony and vice versa. So I had to go in the balcony when the boys were showering because there was no privacy door. This here is the view that we had from our balcony. All right, we shall go and eat now. Who wants some steak? Steak, 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 snacks as you will see no, in a minute no one's stopping we're gonna keep walking i don't care i mentioned in this video that our room was above the lobby this was a downfall however it was really difficult to sleep especially since people hang out in this lounge area there's a bar that's close by and people were partying until like 2 a.m and screaming their heads off at one point so just to let you know, you won't have a pleasant sleep if you are close to the lounge area. In the sports bar, they have such thing as computers, so you can use the internet. You can also play pool and foosball. We're checking out the bar, we're checking out the food, and it looks like there is nachos, hamburgers, and hot dogs. The sandwich, Leo, the sandwich, get it. The burger up there, get it. Okay, so see how that burger is. It's nice, heat it up. What you got, what you got, what you got. You also get some fresh fruits like papaya, watermelon, and cantaloupe. Yeah. Can I have one? Remember, this is supposed to be a snack, but the kids were so hungry they ended up eating hamburgers and were a little bit full for our dinner. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Some nacho cheese. Put this in. A lot of legit nachos. We got the drinks from the bar. You can also get alcohol drinks if you want. 
Okay, we're done eating and now we're heading to the beach. It is. When my, my mommy says it's not nice, it's game over. What? Our hotel is definitely right there. You can see that that's our hotel room and it's right above the lobby. I wonder if that water is cold like Banff. We're exploring the area. I just saw a flash. It is down the way, Daddy. I saw a flash. It's right totally gonna there. rain. I didn't even saw a flash. You got straw umbrellas. Cool. Hey guys. Cool. This is where Daddy's gonna be. Cool. And that's where you guys are gonna swim. Cool. You guys are gonna play there. Cool. No, no. Cool. You guys are gonna play right there. Cool. I'm gonna choose one of those umbrellas. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's still a pool over there. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's two big pool areas that we just passed by. Is that the buffet? Where's that? The buffet. Where's that one? I don't know. Okay. Now we're heading along to the beach. Oh, this is like Vancouver, but better. And that's probably the Mexican one. Can I go in the water? Uh, not right horsey, now. Horsey, 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 horsey. What the horse? Horsey, horsey. Two horses. Oh, it's horsey. This is a good shade right here. Horsey. Oh, look, horsey. Oh. You guys can told me. You guys can told me something that. Not yet, not yet. We're looking at the beach. Okay. Coconuts, coconuts. Where? Better than no frills. Daddy, look! What? Look over there. Okay, maybe, 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 yeah. Oh okay. my God, look. look over there, there's a cruise over there. There's a cruise over there. Cool. Can I, can I touch the water? Oh yeah, we're totally gonna come back here. Okay, that's good. Let's go eat now. Uh oh, oh lightning. Thunder. See that? You guys see the thunder? Yeah. It's game over, man. It's just thunderstorming. Let's get some food for everyone runs in. Everyone's gonna run in and get food too. Let's go get it first. No, so there's no line that's in the rain. Yeah, I know. I'm saying, let's go. Now, let's go. Everyone's gonna start running in, so we guess go first. Trust me, that is six cents. Believe me, when it rains, everyone's gonna rush in. It's a buffet. It's a buffet. All of them are buffet. Oh, okay. Well, then it's a buffet. <laughs> Yeah. Cactuses, do not touch your butt on that. I want to touch it. No! <laughs> right now, we are heading to the steakhouse. This steakhouse is right beside the beach. So if you want the ocean view, then this is the restaurant to go to. This is the... Oh, that's pointy La Botana. What's a Botana? It still smells like burger. What is a baton? You are required to wear formal wear when going to this restaurant. We didn't realize it, but they were okay with it still. This is us trying to decide what we're going to get for the family. It's our first meal and it was really good. You can see here Leo is picking off of a steak plate from his daddy. And this is our view while we're eating. The next day, we are excited to try the breakfast. Okay, we're gonna go to the Don Limoleno, I think. Emiliano. Breakfast is at 7 to 11, and then lunch is at 0 to 0, huh? Oh, I mean, I guess there's no lunch here. And then dinner is at 18.30 to 22.30. Okay. When you first enter, you see the pastry area. They serve croissants, cookies, muffins. You will see throughout this video that you have a variety of food in this restaurant. This restaurant serves everything. It's the biggest buffet that they have in this hotel. Let me tell you, it's good. Looking here, they have a bunch of different types of scrambled eggs. Different seasoned scrambled eggs, some with onions, some with bacon. Over here, we have some eggs, sunny side up, and pancakes. Moving along, we got some salsa sauce maybe, or ketchup and mustard. We got some other potato-based breakfast stuff to eat. You excited, Ella? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look okay. What are we gonna eat? Ooh, yeah. This look really good. Hey, don't touch. All right. So Hugo, Hugo loves his plate. veggies. He's getting some honeydew there. Super fresh. 
There's papaya there, super fresh. And basically any right tropical thing you right want. There. And it's People super fresh. It's not veggie, it's a fruit. Ooh, there's this too. Ooh, there's a lot of yogurt stuff there. A lot of different homemade yogurts and huh? cut up fruits for you to What's put that, it in. Leo? This man Leo oh, here bacon. doesn't do much fruits and vegetables, but he does do a lot of meat, like bacon, steaks, chicken wings, and all that stuff. He's probably gonna go sit down and start his breakfast now. This is Ella's first time grabbing things herself, because normally she couldn't reach until now. So we're kind of teaching her how to grab things properly. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Good job. Very good. What are you eating? Watermelon. Yeah, watermelon is your favorite. Cereal. Cereal, huh? Cereal, that's not cereal. That's cereal. I don't know what this is. That's cereal too. This is a different kind of cereal. Those are like Cocoa Puffs. Cereal. But less sweet. Okay, watermelon. Wow, Ella. Yeah, that Mostly is such a good Mostly all the view. food that we had at the Rio Jalisco Hotel were amazing. The only restaurant that we didn't really like that much was the Asian restaurant. This is probably because we're used to having homemade Asian food since we're Asian. But aside from that, none of us got food poisoning and we really enjoyed all our meals. <laughs> this guy wants healthiness. She wants healthiness. This man will eat. After a great healthy meal, we decided to swim, although it was raining lightly. The kids were super excited, so they really wanted to swim. So although it was raining a little bit, we still decided to swim. I decided to go chill under a strong rope. Now what was cool and new to me was that there, there were lizards walking around while we chilled at the pool. A lot of iguanas, big and small, were just walking around like pigeons at our feet. Apart from these iguanas, there were actually other birds flying around also. But what shocked me the most were these big guys just walking around, begging for food, and having a good time in the grass, in the trees, climbing trees, in the pond. Yeah, it was quite a treat to see that because we don't see that in Canada. Okay, so now we're drinking pina colada in the pool, one of the pools. This pool has a really strong bar, but it's pretty good because it has iguanas. Look, there's an iguana over there, honey. There's an iguana over there. Okay, I'll look for it. Yeah, there's an iguana over there. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty like family friendly because the, the kids area is there. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. They're having fun. Okay. Alright, so that was the kiddie pool. Now let's go to the adult pool. There's a crazy party going on. It's one of the craziest pool parties I've ever seen in my life. They had this soap cannon, which shot so much soap, that in the end we had a mountain of soap. If you walked in that mountain of soap, you couldn't breathe because the soap was covered in your face, plugging your nostrils. Quite the challenge, I'd say. But yeah, they had these big beach volleyballs going on in the back, and it was quite fun to hit it. It was, it was not even a, a sport, but it was just fun to reach to it and knock it up as high as possible. They also had a boat where they had like alcohol and coke and all these drinks. One time!
both of the pools in this hotel were fairly deep. There were very few shallow areas for children that are seven and under to be able to stand. So keep that in mind when choosing a hotel. However, they did have a splash park where your kids can splash around and you don't have to worry about them drowning. What's up, folks? Welcome to the best time show ever. We're partying in Mexico. Han and I rarely drink alcohol, but I did want to try one alcoholic drink. As you saw in the previous clip, I did try a pina colada. I wanted to mention that they were light on the alcohol that was in the pina colada. So if alcohol is an important thing for you, keep that in mind. However, they did have hard liquor in the bedrooms. There were five to choose from. Of course, Han and I didn't drink that, but it's rare. I've never seen any hotel room where they have hard liquor in the room for you to drink as much as you want. that the hotel tried really hard to entertain the guests. As you can see here, this is a family fun event where the whole family enjoyed. The next day, we decided oh, oh, oh. to go to an excursion, just right there? snorkeling yeah. in the Moretta Islands. And oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we went in this taxi here. The taxi was about 360 pesos from the Rio Jalisco Hotel. They have a shop, so in case you need any supplies, you can buy some of the items here. Along this path, there are washrooms for you to use before going on the excursion. Oh no! Let's take it. Here, they let you wait at a cafe where you can get fresh coffee. Oh look, there's the boat. So we can show here. They said just wait. This tour company is called Volata Adventures. The coffee in the morning. You got this one, right? Yep. Look how happy Leo looks putting on sunscreen. See, Daddy? Look, Amazing. There's, there's two seats below, Daddy. The face is so miserable. Mommy puts on sunscreen. Yeah. My leg what is it? This excursion costs us 100 US for each adult. Any kid under 12 is free. Okay, it's time to go now. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, we're gonna go snorkeling. They give us life jackets, they give us the snorkeling gear, they give us the shoes and everything. Oh, we also get breakfast and lunch on board. So it'll be good, all inclusive. Fun. Nice. 
Keep in mind that our daughter is seven years old and she was one of the youngest ones to snorkel. So if you're planning on going on this excursion, make sure your child is prepared to snorkel in rough waters. She was a little bit scared at first. My eight-year-old was also scared at the beginning, but they got used to it after they swam to the part where the coral reef was and where the, all the fish were swimming around. The snorkeling was really amazing. However, we were surprised that the coral reef was not that developed and we didn't see that much coral. We were also expecting more fish. It was still good, however. I mean, I'm not complaining. We did see fish. We even saw a snakefish. We were just hoping for more bright colors and more fish. If you compare this coral reef to a place like Jamaica, for example, it cannot compare. The one in Jamaica was absolutely amazing. The one in Cuba was also absolutely amazing with hundreds and hundreds of fish surrounding you. So, I mean, in comparison, this is probably the third best or fourth best out of all the coral reefs that I've been to. We've seen the one in Cuba, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and the Florida Keys. So I changed my mind. It's probably the fifth nicest. While snorkeling, I did see someone actually go touch the coral reef. I wanted to mention that if you ever go snorkeling with your family, don't touch the coral reef. It can actually damage or even kill the coral. No. Our snorkeling adventure is now over. We are on the small boat so that we can get on the bigger boat. You see us getting up right here. It's kind of tricky because the boat is moving, but we have help. How was that, Ella? Good job, Ella. High five. Good job. All that training paid off, right? Uh, which is your number on the list? Um, right there, Anna and three. Ella. Yeah. Uh, so five and yeah, that's it. Nine. Five, four, seven. Okay. What I really liked about this company is that they took safety seriously. They got the names of everyone on board and as soon as you got on, they asked you where you were on the list and they checked off your name. Before leaving the island, they drove around the edge of the island to give you a little summary of the history and the animals and all about the Moretta Islands. 
They were saying that this area has the deepest bay in Mexico. The next part in our excursion is a stop at this beautiful beach in this national reserve forest. The sand is really rough. We wish we bought our sand shoes while we are here. It had a very beautiful lounge area that we chose for ourselves. The boat is leaving, but it will come back after one hour time. There's activities such as banana boating, kayaking, and swimming. Drinks such as water, coke, and beer is included. We had a lot of fun swimming in this clear water. Let me tell you, this water was much more clear than the water at the resort area. Looks like all the fish were scared away from us swimming there. The big puffer fish that time around me. We did see a big puffer fish. It was crazy, I think. They were coming up in my face before the day. Not the yellow butterflies. There's all types of butterflies. What is that? A boogie fish? A boogie fish. A black coconut. A boogie fish. A boogie fish. A boogie fish. Oh, the shark comes up. pressure in the wind. Now it's time to leave this wonderful place. Leo, come on. Here we go. Get up. Let's go. The tour company did try extra hard to provide us with entertainment on the boat. The ride is long back to the hotel. And this dude here, he is performing Michael Jackson. But of course, I can't play the actual song. I hope this song is a good substitute. If you ask us if this excursion was worth the money, we would definitely say yes. The crew tried extra hard to entertain us and make us happy. There was unlimited drinks on board. Come on, you would be happy with that, wouldn't you? However, remember, we don't drink, so we never tried any of the alcoholic drinks. But either way, the non-alcoholic drinks and the food were really good. If you go to Mexico, I would definitely recommend picking an excursion from this company. However, there are a lot of other companies that will provide you with probably the same experience. So, pick wisely! Although we were tired from the excursion, it didn't stop us from partying at night. Rahu Jalisco has a cool white party where everyone wears white and it's a big dancing fiasco. See, 
didn't I tell you that, that they try extra like hard on the entertainment? I thought the entertainment was top notch. Five star all the way. The next morning, we go to the beach and get some fresh coconuts for 100 pesos. I thought that was a little steep in terms of coconut prices because in Canada, you can get a coconut for four Canadian dollars. Go, Ella, all you want. That's fine. See, Ella? What were you saying about the pool? Hey, hey guys, here we go. Let's go back to the pool. Let's go back to the pool now. Ella, you're going to the pool, right? Let's go. Okay. No, I'm joking. Stay here. Give it back to her. Here we go. Try to keep it still. You can use mine if you want. Where are you going, Hugo? Go down, go down, go down. Ah, you can't use that phone, you're gonna drop it. Oh, no, hold that phone. Ah. You gonna drop my phone if I give it to you? Huh? Hey guys, I'm gonna take a ball of that home. Do some art. Ball what? So, we'll make it a family uh, ornament that we, first time we ever went to together. Well, like a long time. No, we never went to a tropical place together before. Well, I didn't go at least. I'll put on the strap. You gonna hold? Time to disco! Disco, 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 let's go! Of course, we had to end the night partying at a club in the Rio Jalisco. Complete. The next day, we decided to rent a car. We thought it would be a good idea to leave the resort for a bit and travel around and look at the different cities Mexico has to offer. Cars in one piece. We're okay. Parked a little bit crooked. That's our license plate. Don't forget it. Oh. You go, don't ram your bike into this car, please. They had to Uber to the airport to pick up this rental car. It was a thousand six hundred pesos to rent for three days. Your daddy's gonna free in that parking job. Look at how much fun this guy's having. Walking in the blazing heat of Mexico, Nariat. As you can see here, this is the entrance of the Ryu Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, we made it, adventure time, real life adventure time. Leo, how was that for your first real life gangster adventure? Everyone's like, don't bring your kids in the city, it's dangerous. What did I do? The exact opposite. Yes, Ella gets it from me, I guess. <laughs> the truth is, Ella gets it from daddy, not mommy. After the boys get the car, we pack Let's up and go. make our way to the city. We go to Puro Varata. Excuse me if I say it wrong. This was the main city in the area. It's one of the things that we had to check out. Before going to Mexico, we did a lot of research and Puro Vallarta in Mexico was named one of the best small cities in the world. 
in the Reader's Choice Awards 2023. Horses, or metal horses everywhere, wooden horses. You have a big festival going on there with tents. This place is really busy. We were shocked how many on, people on. were on the streets and just partying. We asked one of the locals if this is an everyday thing or because it was a weekend day. But they were saying that every day is like this. really high up. After a wonderful night in the city, we decided to head out again and visit another city that is close by. Next on our list is visiting Seyuleta. This beautiful city has very colorful decorations with beautiful local vendors selling beautiful crafts. Oh my god. This is thick. This is nice. It's a meat shop. How do you get the meat shop? We did do a full walking tour of this city, so be sure to check it out in our channel if you want to look at it more. Don't be touching that. Nice. You guys want to eat here? This is a restaurant, right? I don't think it's open. Oh, it's not open? Okay. Yeah, it looks very closed. All right, here we go. We can totally eat here, guys. It was nighttime. There's a nice uphill right there. There's a good taco restaurant right there. Nice bench, park to hang out in the middle of town. You see a local vendor selling his handmade craft items. It was so beautiful, I decided That's to nice. buy one for myself. That's nice, I didn't get it. That's good. Can I get the black one? Oh? No, get the pink one. It's good. I like it, it's good. Yeah. Oh, sweetie! 100? Thank you. What did mommy get? Nice. People, they gave us some more. What? Is mommy part or they gave it to us? They gave us some more for you guys. What? more? They gave you some more. Bella, what are you having in Mexico? A burrito? What's that burrito song? Is there a burrito song? It's raining burrito. From out of the sky burrito. Like that? 
Yummy. Ruben. Ruben. It's Mexican. This is what my mom is pronouncing. Ruba? Root beer? If there's a root beer, they give us Ruben. The Mexican beer. They didn't know that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna straight there with the stick. I'm gonna be that guy. Oh. Go. I'll straight there with the stick. Let's go. Yeah. We got Ruben. We saw our ATV, huh? Yeah? We had such a fun time in that city. However, the family was all tired, so we wanted to head back for dinner. On our last day, we thought we were going home, but in the morning, the Sunwing representative told us that our flight was canceled. There was a hurricane approaching, and they didn't want to take any chances. It was going to make landfall around 3 p.m. After that, we checked the news, and they were saying that it was only a Category 2. So we weren't that worried, and we were just checking out what was happening around the hotel and how they were preparing for the hurricane. They're making sure nobody goes past. Yeah, they're making sure no one goes on the beach with this red, I mean, yellow caution tape. And also they're building a, a barrier so the water doesn't go up. Okay, now I just record. Look how big the waves are. This is about significantly bigger. Ella, you scared? You wouldn't go to swim in that. You'd get murdered. Yeah. The waves are tall as a person. Whoa, look how high these waves yeah, are. Man, that's like scary. As you could see, we were a bit nervous while we were looking at the waves. However, the Sunring Vacation Company was really good to us. They said that they rebooked us at a hotel called Friendly Hotel. They have everything taken care of and transportation and everything is included. However, you remember that we did rent a car. We were supposed to return it before going to the airplane. But in this case, it didn't really work out. So what we did was we head back to our hotel so that we can return the car early and go to the friendly hotel before the crowd gets in. We just checked into our new hotel that we're staying for one night because of the hurricane and our flight got canceled. It's called the friendly hotel and we got room 2402 and 2404. They are attached rooms. So this is the first room. You can see the washroom here. This is the shower, nice shower. Basic washroom with the vanity here and the toilet. And this room here comes with two double beds. Keep in mind that this episode is not about the friendly hotel. So we'll show it to you briefly. We'll create another episode on the friendly hotel. Where we're going to see the hurricane. Make sure to come back and see the check hurricane that out. Tonight. We're going to film it. We're going to check out the hotel before it rains. Right now, we're not that worried because the news said it's going to be a Category 2 hurricane. So we decided to check out the hotel's pool. Right now, the wind is picking up. So we're wondering what's going on and we rechecked the news. Okay, we are in a hurricane in Mexico. Right now, we are a little bit worried. We're bringing the furniture in because we don't want it to fly away and hit a window. The news just updated this hurricane to a category four. Oh yeah? 
Don't worry, we survived the hurricane, obviously, because the next day we decided hey, look, 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 look. to go and see the turtle sanctuary that was in walking distance Whoa. of the friendly hotel. While we look at these turtles, let's talk about the Hotel Ryu Holesco and the pros and cons in summary. Okay, so the three pros. Definitely the food. The food was really amazing aside from that Asian restaurant that I mentioned. Number two pro is definitely the entertainment. The hotel staff were really great and they tried really hard to make sure you had a fun time at the Rio Valesco. The third pro is probably the cleanliness of the hotel room as well as the facility overall. They had very clean floors, clean pools, and overall it was a pleasant, clean experience. Now let's move on to the con. Keep in mind that this con may not be a problem to some of you because if you are a couple, then it doesn't really matter if you don't have a door to the washroom. However, because we're a family of five, it was really important for us to have the door so that we can change and shower in peace and privacy. The second con would be how the facilities didn't have many washrooms around the pool area or the restaurants. So most of the time we had to go to our hotel room to go to the washroom. The third con was definitely the cups. Most of the time the cups had residue from other drinks in it. This made it difficult for us to use the cups, but we were lucky to bring water bottles and we were able to use that instead of the cups that the restaurant provided. Take a look. Bits of vegetables. There's a, a, a drink called the green drink, green juice, and you can see the green juice still in the cup. Although they had some downfalls, they were very minor in our opinion. We still had a great time. We didn't get sick. We were safe. We had fun. The kids enjoyed it. There were things for the kids to do. Mexico overall was wonderful. We really loved the people there too. They took really good care of us and they cared about the service that they provided. I think that's pretty much our review of Rio Jalisco and Mexico overall. I hope you also enjoyed the other parts we added in terms of the excursions and the things you can do around the hotel. Make sure you check out the other episodes. They may be longer and a lot more detailed because we're just focusing on one topic. We hope that this video wasn't too long and you enjoyed what you saw. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Thank you. Bye.